Slip into the ocean Swallow me up in one motion Though She's my queen I show devotion Hey guys, welcome to another video and today I'll be doing a recap of the 5th day of the 2019 World Champs. The night kicked off with the women's 200m butterfly finals where the two Americans, Katie Drabot and Haley Flickinger had the lead until the 150m mark. However, Kappas from Hungary, who was 4th at the last turn, managed to catch up to them by splitting a last 50 meters of 33.11 seconds. Haley Flickinger and Katie Drabot came home in 34.06 and 34.21 seconds, respectively. Henke from Germany was the fastest one to come home with a time of 32.73 seconds, who got 4th after turning 7th at the 150 turn. Next up was the women's 100m freestyle semi-finals, where Sarah Schostrom took the top seed into the finals with a time of 52.43 seconds. Kate Campbell, who had the slowest reaction time by far with a time of 0.81 seconds, qualified second with a time of 52.71 seconds. Qualifying third and fourth were Emma McKeon and Taylor Ruck, who posted times of 52.77 seconds and 53.04 seconds respectively. Simone Manuel and Freya Anderson tied for seventh place, luckily not having to swim off for a final spot. The next event. The men's 100m freestyle finals was an exciting race between Caleb Dressel and Kyle Chalmers. Dressel blasted out since the beginning with a reaction time of 0.61 seconds to turn at 22.29 seconds at the 50m mark while Chalmers turned in 22.79 seconds, half a second behind. After the turn, Chalmers started to inch up on Dressel using his great back half speed. However, Caleb Dressel swam his iconic no breath last 10 to 15 meters to win the race. Looking at the splits, it is evident how these two swimmers approach the event in two totally different ways. Dressel posted a time of 46.96 seconds, which was 0.05 seconds away from Sailor's world record, but his time did break the American and textile world record. Kyle Chalmers also posted a solid time of 47.08 seconds. Getting third was Vladislav Grinov with a time of 47.82 seconds. Getting fourth was Blake Peroni with a time of 47.88 seconds. And getting fifth was Marcello Cerenghini with a time of 47.93 seconds after turning second at the 50. Next up was the women's 50 meter backstroke where the defending world champion Etienne Medeiros seemed to have the lead in the beginning, but was taken over by Olivia Smoliga in the last 10 meters. Smoliga finished first with a time of 27.33 seconds. Medeiros finished second with a time of 27.44 seconds. And Daria Vaskina from Russia finished third with a time of 27.51 seconds. This was Smoliga's first long horse world title and was able to break her own American record. Georgia Davies and Kaylee McKeon tied it for fourth with a time of 27.65 seconds, while the top seed Kathleen Baker finished sixth with a time of 27.69 seconds. The next event was the men's 200 meter breaststroke semifinals, where we could see some fast swims. In the first heat, Andrew Wilson was under world record pace until the 150 meter mark while Chupkov, as always, started off slow in the first 100 meters and came back amazingly. Chupkov finished in a time of 206.83 to break the championship's record, and Wilson finished in a time of 207.86. However, in the second semifinals, Matthew Wilson turned in a minute at the 100 meter mark and came back home fast enough to tie the world record. Yes, you heard me right. He tied Watanabe's world record with a time of 206.67. Here is a quick split comparison between Chupkov and Matthew Wilson in the semifinals, where we can see that they swim the race totally differently. The other world record holder, Ipe Watanabe, qualified 6th in 208.04, while the defending Olympic champion, Dmitry Belandin, finished in 208.19. 
This was a pretty fast semifinals, considering that it took a 208.28 to qualify to the finals. In the men's 200m IM, Daya Seto and Jeremy Desplanche were leading throughout the entire race. Their brushstroke splits of 33.30 and 33.38 respectively were almost the same compared to Kalish's split of 33.25, which is where he usually takes over the lead. Daya Seto finished in 156.14 to get first, which is his first long course world champs medal in the 200 IM, and Jeremy Desplanche, who had a great race, got second. Chase Kalish, who turned third after the 150 meter, was able to hold on to his position. This finals contained of six swimmers dipping under 157 and two swimmers dipping under 158, making it a pretty fast final. In the women's 200 meter breaststroke semifinals, the defending world champion, Yulia Efimova qualified first with a time of 221.20 and qualifying second was Tajana Schoenmaker who broke the African record with a time of 221.79. The 200m IEM bronze medalist Sydney Pickram qualified third in 223.11 and the silver medalist Yeshi Wen qualified fifth in 223.49. Also important to note is that Lily King got disqualified in the prelims for touching the wall with one hand. What are your thoughts? Next up was the men's 200 meter backstroke semifinals, where the defending world champion Ryloff qualified first with a time of 155.48, being the only one to dip under 156. Qualifying second was Ryan Murphy with a time of 156.25, and qualifying third was Luke Greenbank with a time of 156.60. The other American, Jacob Pebley, who was swimming in lane 8, qualified 4th with a time of 156.65, while Marcus Thormayer broke the Canadian record to qualify 5th in 156.96. Barely dipping into the finals was Raisuke Irie by 0.07 seconds with a time of 157.26. Also, important to note, is that scratching the race was the 100m backstroke champion, Su Jiayu. For the women's 4x200m freestyle relay, Ariane Titmus led off Australia with a time of 154.27 to break the Australian record, giving Australia almost a 2 second lead over the US. Katie Ledecky jumped in as Simone Manuel finished the race in 156.09 and was able to catch up to the Australians by splitting a time of 154.61, which was the third fastest of the entire field. Then the third legs, Australia's Brianna Throsell and USA's Melanie Margalis touched the wall for the anchors only 0.09 seconds apart. Emma McKeon, who used her great underwaters and turns, posted a time of 154.90 to beat the US, who had Katie McLaughlin anchor with a time of 155.36. Both Australia and the US broke the world record with times of 741.50 and 741.87 respectively. Canada, who was fourth for the majority of the race, got third thanks to Penny Oleksiak's monster split of 154.36. She was the only one in the field to start off the race in under 26 seconds and her split was the second fastest of the entire field. That was about 2 seconds faster than her time in the individual race and I guess opting out of the 100 free really was the right choice. Well, that's it for today guys, hope you guys enjoyed and thanks for watching, see you guys tomorrow! If I slip into the ocean, swallow me up in one motion though, she's my queen I show devotion. My life.